Hi, my darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Libras. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And there will be no clarification, but I'm going to pull you a card from the Psychic tar Tarot Oracle deck. So, Libra, let's see what message or messages. We have for you to everyone stopping by i thank you i thank you so very much and i welcome you with open arms and an open heart babies darlings please take what resonates and leave what does not okay not every reading will be meant for you Let's see. So Libra, this is for you. The Five of Wands, there's some kind of conflict or struggle in your environment here. What's going on with you? You got the Prince of Wands, you got some impulsive energy. Um, you're probably going to take care of something that needs attention right now. You got the Star card, this is below you. You need to keep your eye on the prize no matter what, you don't give up, okay? You keep the faith alive. We got the Justice card. Now, the Justice card could be Libra, but it may be something that you've been through. I don't know. But something happened not too long ago. It could be that you found your balance. Um, it could have been a karmic event, like... Um, I don't know, like, what, really, because I can't... I can say so many things for that, but... It could have been something that you've given out and you received, or it could be that you, whatever it was that you set out with, and you set out with integrity, and you won. Okay, with the Justice card, whenever you set out with integrity, you will win. Then you have the Sun card. I guess you did win. You got happiness and positivity in your environment. We got the Temperance card. You need to find a balance. Have patience. The Three of Cups, you're going to have news worth celebrating soon. You got the Eight of Pentacles, focusing on that money, aren't you? You're focused on the details about the money. You're manifesting it. Oh, my darlings, and it's coming. You got the Ace of Pentacles. That's about abundance or a new financial opportunity for you. The job you've been waiting for, the promotion, something, but it's some money coming in. The inflow of abundance. Then you have the two of fire. Two of wands. Same, same. Things are uh, moving forward. You're making some bold and courageous steps. And you might be partnering up with someone. Then you have the six of wands. You'll be successful. It's coming in really fast. And you've been working very hard. And you need to take a little break. Okay. You need to take a little break. It's either break or gossiping with people. I don't know. Don't, don't take a break and do that. Take a break for yourself. You know, relax. Um, you got the six of wands. You might have put something successfully behind you. Um, you got the chariot. Something coming in fast. Maybe some kind of rest. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe deciding to take a break, going somewhere. I don't know. Or maybe deep in thought about the next three cards that I just pulled. Oh. You got the world card. Whatever it is, you will successfully accomplish and achieve it. You got the king of cups. This is a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio in your environment. You got the king of pentacles. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. 
Maybe that's what you're deep in thought about and this energy is coming fast. Now it could be whatever is happening or you're being overworked or you're tired or whatever it is. You're going to take a break. You're going to successfully accomplish whatever it is that you've been working on. The King of Cups could be saying you're feeling emotionally balanced and the King of Pentacles could be saying you're financially stable and that you got the Midas touch. Anything you touch now will turn to gold. So you got the world, you got the King of Cups, and you have the King of Pentacles. And then one more card. Ah, they, these are two energies. Oh, boy, you got the Empress and you got the Emperor. You feeling kind of stuck. I don't know what's making you feel stuck. There's abundance, there's stability. You got the Empress, the Emperor. We got the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles. The Hangman. Something has you stuck. But you seem really stable. We got the Hangman, the Abundance card, and you got, well, the Empress, and you got the um, Emperor. Whatever it is, you will find the inner strength to overcome whatever it is you're going through. You hear me? You have a lot of personal strength. You can push through anything once you make your mind up to do that. All right? Okay. So let's see. What other message do we have for Libra? Libra, what else do we have for you? Show me. We got the solar plexus chakra. The solar plexus chakra. The color is yellow. These are just the key facts. The color, color is yellow, the sound is ram, the, fire, the element is fire, the glands are the pancreas and the adrenaline, the key words are I can. The solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area just below the rib, the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem and confidence. The energy center where the emotions and feelings, the energy center where your feelings, your emotions and feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clear, clear sentience, inner feeling, which is the mate, which is the major psychic reception area. You feel that feeling. You know, your intuition. To balance the chakra, you may want to try yoga, dance and movement, or, breath, or breath work with color. In addition, be aware of the people who drain your energy. Workshops and classes that focus on empowerment will help you open and harmonize this area. The solar plexus. I'm going to pull one more card for you. So something you got to work with where the energy of the, your solar plexus is concerned. Let's see what else. I'll pull one more card for you. Okay. We're going to go with transformation, card number 13. Transformation. A time of ending is close at hand. Don't resist the abrupt changes that are suddenly happening in your life. These could be taking place in your personal life, relationships, business, or career. 
You have the strength as the transformation card asks you to have courage and to know that renewal follows every conclusion. This, card's, this card comes forth to remind you that the death of an old way of thinking and believing must occur before you can move forward to your new path. Transformation is all about the ebb and flow of life cycles. Nothing in this life remains motionless. Everything is on its way to somewhere. Accept the changes and opportunity. Accept the changes and opportunity will come to expand you in more ways than you could have ever imagined. You can't live in the past. It's time to move on. In order to take the next positive step, you should look closely at your own life and ask yourself, are these loose ends that need to be tied up? Are, the, are there people in my life whom I need to express myself to? What needs to be completed so I can have a fresh start? When you do so, you will have a stronger, more reinforced foundation to carry you through the new beginnings that await you. This card is the equivalent to the death card in the tarot deck. And it just means transformation, change, okay? But you will find your strength. And whatever little thing you that got you stuck, you will be unstuck. You will figure it out. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon.